everyone! Hello! Welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. So today, we have another Piston Cup racer, Buck Baringley, who's racing for Viewzine as number 39. So yeah guys, I'm trying my best to pump out as many videos as possible before I go on vacation next Tuesday, and I'm also trying to pre-record as many videos to upload while I'm on vacation. We'll see how many I can get done. I believe there are four birthday requests while I'm on vacation, so I gotta do those first, and then I'll work on some Cars 3 diecast reviews and maybe something else as well. And if you guys haven't heard, I plan on doing a live stream right before Cars 3 comes out, like that week before when I get back from vacation, which is around June 13th, I believe. But anyways, guys, let's dive right into the review. By the way, the lighting might be a little bit weird and dark. It's because Buck here is blue. I know it sounds super weird, but my phone, my camera that I use is like anti-blue cars. So whenever I review a blue car, it gets all dark and funky. So I do apologize about that. It looks like for this one, at least right now, the lighting is pretty normal. So let's dive right in. Of course, all of the Mattel Cars 3 merchandise came out on May 1st of 2017. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that, but I want to say anyway, at least for these first couple Cars 3 diecast reviews. I didn't do too many right after May 1st. I did the haul video and then the episode on my in-store footage, and now I'm just starting to get into all the reviews of the individual releases. The description reads, Blindsided by a new generation of piston car racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, in parentheses, Cruz Ramirez, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, in parentheses, Doc, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. Now these few old friends could be returned to the Radiator Springs Townies, or maybe Doc's old friends like Smokey, Louise Barnstormer, Nash, River Scott, and Junior Moon. Now, if you guys don't know who those guys exactly are, I recommend just Googling them. I don't think I've really talked about them. Of course, I've done a whole video pretty much on Smokey, but the other three are a little less known, at least right now. But pretty much, they are racers that used to race with Doc Hudson. But anyway, here are the other cars that you can get, or at least six of them. There are a lot more than this, actually. Cars 3, Lightning McQueen, Natalie Certain, Cal Weathers, Murray Clutchburn, who I just reviewed, Red Meeker, and Jackson Storm. Don't worry, guys, I will be reviewing Red Meeker in the near future. I just... I'm sorry, I gotta admit it, I like Buck just a little bit more than Reb, even though Reb is super awesome, I love that color pink on him. Anyways, I'll be right back with this awesome car opened up. Before we get into the review of Buck here, I want to give a huge shout out to Cool Action TV. He was actually able to help me get Buck before May 1st because he found pretty much all of the Cars 3 singles plus extras at Fry's stores around his area before Uno de Mayo, May 1st. So yeah, congrats to him for that. He found them in like early April, so those Fry's stores definitely did not comply with the May 1st official release date for the Mattel stuff. But anyway, I really do appreciate him doing that. He was so generous to help me out with a bunch of them. Now I know I did not review Buck before May 1st, but I'm reviewing him now and this is the one that Collection TV sent me. I did pick up another one at Target recently to keep in the package, but this one that you're looking at is from Collection TV. So thank you so much for that. And now let's talk about his appearance in Cars 3. My guess, just like Murray Clutchburn, he'll be a background racer that doesn't even speak. We did see him in the very first Car Street teaser trailer back in November. It was just the back of him. He was kind of far away, but did say using on the back of him, I do believe. I'm not entirely sure if we've seen him in a different, more recent trailer. I think I've seen this blur of a turquoise stock car racer go by, but yeah, the decals definitely didn't come in close enough to give a definite answer. Of course, when Cars 3 comes out, I'll be able to tell you the exact races that he participated in. Most likely, the next-gen using racer will come in and kick Buck out because 
That seems to be what's happening for every stock car racer. As for his releases, he's currently only available in the single pack. No multi-packs or anything as of yet, but probably in the future because usually the early on releases do get re-released a lot. Now, of course, there was a using racer in Cars 1. His name was Ryan Shield. So, of course, Ryan obviously retired to make room for Buck. And like I said, that's probably going to happen with Buck again with the next generation racer for Vuzim. We'll compare them in a couple moments here. I have the loose one over there. Here's the art for him. Looking pretty cool. I think this was his most recent release. 11 out of 18 in the Piston Cup Series for 2015. There are some of the other releases. He's in Cars 3. He got replaced by, I think... Her name is Chris or something like that, is the new flag waver. Ponchy White bout is back. Charlie Checker got replaced by, dang, I forgot the name of the pace car in Cars 3, and then there's a security car. So that was just kind of a fun thing to do there, comparing some of the Cars 1 counterparts to Cars 3 1. And so anyway, let's dive right into the review of Buck. So this is pretty much what I always do for the Piston Car Racers as we're reviewing the Cars 3 version. We also go through and compare that one to the Cars 1 version as well. So it looks like at first glance their paint jobs are very similar, but if you dive in a bit deeper, you'll actually be able to spot a lot of differences between the two. First off, very obviously their expressions are different. Ryan from Cars 1 has much more of a determined expression, whereas Buck from Cars 3 is a lot happier. Also, the logos on their hoods have changed. The Cars 1 version, in my opinion, is a little bit more complex because you have the three colors here, kind of like a light cyan, then normal cyan, and then darker there on the bottom. Whereas for Cars 3, it is slightly darker toward the eyes, but as you get to the grill, it lightens up. But that's pretty much it. The tax also has changed from being straight to slanted. And if you look at the Cars 3 version right here, corrective windshields, that part of the tax is pretty much identical besides the positioning. But if you look at ViewZeam, there's that like white filler that connects the entire term right there. And then you have cyan leathering with a yellow outline, of course, with the white filler behind it. For Cars 1, it pretty much was just another outline for the white color. There wasn't any filler. So that's my in-depth review of the ViewZine logos there. I know I'm going pretty deep, but I do want to give a good review of it. We have 39 right there under the headlight before it was actually on the headlight. Light cyan over here, kind of right there for the fenders. Light year over the fenders there on the fenders. Black rims with black light year tires. That's different from the Cars 1 version. You had cyan rims with black light year tires. Of course, moving on to the sides here. It's pretty simple for the Cars 1 version. You just have the normal cyan with kind of a turquoise stripe going kind of between it there. On the Cars 3 version, the contingency sponsors are the Piston Cop, Violin, Revolting, RPM, Nitro Aid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. You have this new yellow stripe there on the bottom. There is the red arrow to indicate to the pit crew where to lift him up at to do any sort of work. 39 is pretty much the same. It looks to be more 3D, has some depth to it. Also, the new Vuzine has these kind of like, I think that's six, white, very thin pinstriping along the sides of him. That was not on the Cars version at all, the Cars 1 version at all. Corrective windshields, corrective windshields on the roof here, 39 there, kind of more of a 3D design. That's definitely more 2D. Roof flaps, roof flaps on the backer. Let's actually look here first. Gas cap, using the filler logo. The other logo there from Cars 1. Moving on to the back here, you have the new Vuzine logo. Most likely that's a camera to look back and get cool shots for the TV from the racing, of course. Corrective windshields, 39. And on the Cars 1 version, you have Vuzine, a little stripe right there. Corrective windshields. Definitely doesn't look as exciting or bold as the Cars 3 version. And then you have Vuzine right there. Very, very nice and bold. Awesome. And there's the big bold using logo. It's actually a lot smaller on the Cars 1 version. 
but it does say corrective windshields in addition below it and there are two shades of cyan behind the logo itself. Now I would assume the company Vuzine produces windshields that help you see better. I mean it just makes sense and so the equivalent of that in real life would be contacts. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. To conclude the review here, there is a little pattern going on in the dark sections of Buck, like on the roof here and toward the spoiler. You can get a good glimpse of it right here if we can focus in. They're like little squiggly shapes. Maybe they're like the contacts that you apply to your eyes and they all fit together like little puzzle pieces. Actually pretty cool and that's not on the Cars 1 version at all. So I definitely prefer Bach over Ryan. Let me know which one you prefer in the comment section below. I just think that Bach brings a lot more detail to the Vuzine company even though I have to say this hood looks a lot cooler. So maybe if we took the hood off of Ryan and put it on Bach, you'd have the ultimate Vuzine Racer. And do you guys think we will see a next generation Vuzine Racer in the near future in Cars 3? I think we will, but I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen it already. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for another Cars 3 Diecast review. Bye now!